five weeks to recover, uh, like way sooner than the original six to eight week prognosis. Uh, did you surprise yourself with how quickly you recovered? Uh, it was never in my mind about the timeline. It was just all based on how I felt. Um, obviously, those are just kind of suggestions. First, first kind of look at what it is, and um, you know, every day just continue to get better. And um, obviously, a testament to the staff here and um, what they were able to do. And um, so, I feel great. I mean, there's no no discomfort or pain, and been skating for quite a while. And that was obviously something that was, you know, I was adamant about was getting on the ice earlier than, you know, maybe usual. But I think that's just a function of what we do and um, we, we skate. So that's, you know, any chance I could be on the ice, whether it's just touching pucks, I want to get out there as early as I could. Because you haven't experienced an injury or recovery of this length in your NHL career. What were some of the, I guess, the unique challenges that you encountered this time? Yeah. Um, like you said, I kind of looked at it as a challenge and learning experience of, you know, what, like you said, this is kind of the first injury. I've had it dealt with for quite some time to be out um, and yeah learned a lot about the MCL and the knee and um, you know recovery exercise rehabbing and, and stuff to you know enhance everything around it and um, you know obviously patience is a key when you're when you're in a situation like this you know obviously you know we're all competitive athletes and want to be on the ice every chance you can get but you know at times you need to know when to kind of hold back and um, you know not push it at days as well. December 10th, what was your view on the play in question that caused the injury? Um, looking forward, I don't don't need to discuss about anything about the play. Did you ever hear from Strom? Did he reach yeah, out? Yeah, he did. He texted me right after the game and um, nothing but nice words. And um, So obviously appreciate the text. Um, Gabe Velarde, I know it's a slightly different injury, but did knowing what he went through, like, did you lean on him a little bit and maybe take some of what he had gone through to help yourself? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I've, I've also learned that Gabe is very, uh, you know, meticulous about what he likes, um, you know, as far as braces wise, you know, like we talked about the brace and, um, you know, it's, it is an adjustment to get used to, but you do, it's, um, uh, I know he went through, you know, maybe three or four, just a comfort thing. So it's, uh, I was trying to, you know, pepper him as much as I can with questions that can help me out in my situation. But, you know, he was helpful in the rehab and a lot of different things. And, um, you know, obviously he came back really strong and, um, you know, looks like a better player than he was when he when he first came and started here. So that's obviously the goal for myself. You had a lot of time to obviously watch this group um, from a different vantage point. Just what did you see? Obviously, they, they've gone on quite the heater here while you've been out. Yeah, it's it's awesome. I, I love watching every single game of these guys. It's, you know, a lot of selfless is come, come, the word that comes to mind. And, um, you know, just being great teammates and playing for each other. I mean, every every night it's someone new stepping up, and it's, it's so incredible to see. And, um, you know, it's the team game and the type of defensive commitment that, you know, every single one in here is, uh, has shown is, is awesome. And obviously look to look to join that and, um, you know, try to help out as any way I can. Obviously the power play is an area as good as your team has been this year <clears throat> that could, could use a boost. Uh, you know, is that one of the areas that uh, I'm sure you're looking forward to maybe trying to help the cause here? Yeah, I mean, you guys all know my game. I think I'm just going to bring a lot of speed and just trying to get back to what makes me successful. And, um, you know, try to try to push it as much as I can, and you know, a power play. It's um, you know, you kind of go on a streak like this where it's not working. It's uh, every one feels that much more heavy that you don't score. So I think it's just kind of approaching it with a with a different mindset, and um, you know, maybe maybe it could be that spark that you know gets us on a run here. But um, you know, that's not my main focus tonight. Adam was, Adam was saying they might have to fight the urge to pass to you all the time that you're going to want. Then maybe they, they think you want the puck a lot. Do you want the puck a lot early? Is that how? <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I don't think you should be asking that question. Of course I do. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean it's I mean it's exciting. Uh, obviously you're out for you know five and five weeks, a couple of days. It's you know I'm itching every single chance, so I'm I'm pretty excited about this one. Yeah. Were you asked about the hit? Sorry, I can't like, Yeah, I'm not going to comment on it though. Yeah, yeah. Kyle, you were on such a hot streak before you uh, before you were hurt. I mean, how do you stay sharp as a shooter as you're working your way back when you're also <coughs> your primary concern is your knee? But how do you how do you stay sharp and and keep that sharp shooting mindset going? Um, yeah, you know, it's a little bit like, uh, you know, summer in a training camp and, you know, training camp, you know, you build up, you're, a lot of these skates are, um, you know, me and IR guys, and then obviously I start practicing with the team. So, um, you know, just drawing experience from those from those games, getting back into the swing of things, it's, you know, it's all about the feet, moving your feet quick. And, and uh, you know, when you're, when you're moving your feet, well, just speaking for my game, my, myself, it's, you know, I, I see everything else way better. And, you know, the shots will come, the chances will come. It's, um, I think, getting that first couple strides and um, reading the play as well, you know, making a bunch of hockey reads. And, you know, it's, you know, I'm confident it'll, you know, it'll transition easily, so. Start to feel normal on the skating side. 
Like um, I mean, skating it feels fine. You know, it's a little sore after you get off. That's that's from what I've heard is going to be the, like that for the next six to eight weeks, just kind of a function of the injury. But um, I mean, the last week or two, it's you know no problem. It's it's feeling really good.